Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'll be sharing to you your ultimate guide to your college minor subjects. So guys, before we start, I would like to remind some of the things that you should take note of. Number one is that college minor subjects may have different names. Their content usually are almost the same and their coverage is almost the same. Number two is that I will be talking about this in the time or in the time frame na kinuha ko siya. But in college, the minor subjects do not necessarily have to be taken on that same pattern. And also, there are some minor subjects that are major subject for some courses and are not taken necessarily for them. For example, if I have statistics as a minor subject, as a biology student, I will have to take biostatistics instead of statistics. It depends upon your course then, pero we'll just talk about them in general. So before we discuss the different subjects, please don't forget to click the like button, share mo na rin sa mga friends mo, also do leave some comments below for new video suggestions, and also please do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Okay, so for the first subject, we'll be talking about physical education. So physical education is still part of the college curriculum. So I think that PE is also important in college because as college students, we tend to forget or to neglect our health. It makes us be more fit for the challenges that we will be facing as college students. PE is composed of four semesters, where PE1 is usually movement enhancement or the stretchings, the Zumba Zumba things. And PE2 will be the physical fitness or the exercises na talaga na proper. Depending on the school, it still counts in your general weighted average. So I think that you should also give priority to your PE class. And then in PE3 and PE4, you're given the chance to choose whatever topic we want in PE. So for example, I took frisbee and laro ng lahi in our fourth semester in PE. So my tips in this subject is making lampa lampa or being lazy on the pre-assessment so that you can have a big improvement on the post-assessment, which is sometimes the basis of your grades. The next subject is the NSTP or the National Services Training Program. So before, this was actually ROTC lang or the Reserve Officer Training Course. Because of the issues yata and the issues that are surrounding the ROTC before, they split it up and gave the students the chance to pick whatever track they want in NSTP based on community service. And the other two tracks that you can take in NSTP is the Literary Training Services and the CWTS or the Civil Welfare Training Services. The Literary Training Services focuses on teaching young students while the civil welfare training services more focuses on the community or community development. So I think that they are more or less interrelated. In fact, we also cover the same topics, slight difference in the, the type of knowledge that they are implying to us. Also, I'd like to take account that this was the time when we were red tagged as a school. During my second year, the first years were engaged in a class and the red tagging started. And NSTP teaches us to become good citizens and it is part of being a good citizen to speak up for what is the best for your countries. Red tagging should be stopped na talaga because it really affects the students. But yun nga, we will never be silent. Anyways, going back, my tip in this class is to listen and enjoy because it includes topics actually on basic rights, citizenship and nationality, uh, basic life uh, services or basic life support, uh, first aid training, rescue operations, things like that. And it's very, very beneficial, not just for you, but also for the communities. It will not be included in your general weighted average. It's also good to give efforts on the things that you can still learn from. Next one is the courses that I took on my first year. Number one is mathematics in the modern world. So this is basically math in college. So yun nga, you will never avoid math in college. This math is basic math lang naman through tables. Next one is statistics. This one is for your research purposes. I think it's a very much a refresher for you. Also, we covered about the different mathematicians. So yun, it's basic math talaga. Kayang kaya mo talaga tong math. Next one is Science, Technology, and Society. It's one of the two science courses that you should take or minor subjects that you should take in college. Science, Technology, and Society actually covers about how things are made, especially those that are made in the Philippines or those that change the world. For me, it's a chill class because you only need to review about the different inventions that were made by scientists and Filipino scientists like for example, Dr. Fedel Mundo. And also, there were societal issues or how society developed. Also, we had movie reviews related to how the human society works. Next one is understanding the self. So this is a social science subject where we discover something about ourselves. So this minor subject is very much more on your opinion and more on who you are. So basically, it does not require correct answers. Of course, there will still be subjects or topics that will be objective. It's more of how well do you know yourself. So it's basically a journey 
towards knowing yourself more. It's composed of different topics like philosophies, different different philosophers who said something about the self. Like for example, Plato on know thyself, Descartes on I know therefore I am. It's a very fun subject because you discover yourself and there is a building your confidence part in the subject where we also gave our opinion about our gender, our sex, and personality development in general. So our first year, second semester, we had purposive communications. One of my favorite English subjects in college, it's a minor subject. And in this subject, we did a lot of things that were actually fun and relatable. So for example, we had PSAs or the public service announcements. And then we also had different speech makings, essay makings, write-ups, journal. And I know it sounds quite uh, very heavy, but hindi naman siya ka heavy because we were given the chance to choose whatever topic we want to cover. And again, we did PSAs where we made commercial shoots, tried to become students who wanted to deliver something, to give something. So what we did, we did a video on HIV and AIDS, something that I'm really, really passionate about. And I pretended to become a person living with HIV in Libertad Plaza in Iliilio City. I really think that this subject taught me a lot of things, not just in terms of English communication, but also who I am, what is my core. Next one is readings in the Philippine history. So this subject is actually more on literature in the Philippines. Also, we covered about literature outside the Philippines that influenced the way of thinking, the way that they wrote essays or letters in the Philippines. Also, we discovered about culture and the arts of the Philippines where we studied about how the different local products were innovated and we also had tours in different museums in Iloilo City. Anyways, it's a good subject and it's a really fun subject rin naman. It's more on knowing your culture. Next one is Life and Works of Rizal. So in other colleges, I discovered that Life and Works of Rizal, for example, in Aklan na University, it's actually Rizal lang yung title niya. In other schools, it's also known as Works of Rizal. Pero basically, it's Rizal. Basically, everything about Rizal from his birth to his death. Also, we covered about the Works of Rizal. In the middle of the subject, we changed professors because there was a issue in the schedule. The first prof we had focused on the works of Rizal. So therefore, we memorized different works of Rizal, analyzed it, made a um, critic. But on the other hand, when we changed professors, we focused on the life of Rizal and how history in general, hindi lang siya history in the Philippines, but history in general like Ezentrism and the Europe, the French Revolution, how those events created or circled out the mind of Rizal. So basically, it's it's a fun subject. It's not just Rizal, but history in general. <laughs> Going on to our second year, first semester, we only took one minor subject, which is the contemporary world. Our major loads were very hectic na nung second year. Basically, what we covered about this uh, subject is globalization, how the world is shaped and how different countries affect other countries. Also, we covered about the different ways of thinking of how to become globalized and why is it important to become globalized students. And also, we covered about how our country developed and how, why we are a third world country as compared to other countries. Next one is our second year, second semester. This was the time when COVID attacked. We had to cut off the semester. So basically, we were not able to cover a lot of information in minor subjects because we focused more on our major subjects. So the first one is by statistics. So by statistics is basically statistics sa ibang courses. It's more of the research na solvings na lang and the variables, the different kind of variables and how to approach your research because this is in preparation of our research on our third year. Next one is another social science that you will take in your college, which is ethics. This is one of my favorite social science na subjects because it really made your mind think and understand how other people think. So it's not just about focusing on your ethics and how your morals are created or how you are developed. It's more of making sure that you understand not just your stand, but the stand of other people and making judgment accordingly. In ethics, we covered about morality, ethics, the norms, societal issues like marriage, abortion, divorce, same-sex marriage, LGBTQ, transgender community. I really think that it's very good that we train students, especially college students, to be more aware about these issues and how to make judgment. I think that our generation is very much ready for this challenge to become more open to the world. And this subject really taught us to become more open. This subject also challenged moral dilemmas. So like for example, who will you choose to give a vaccine to a 15-year-old or a 60-year-old? So yeah, it's a very fun subject. Next one is art appreciation. So art appreciation is a subject where we give understanding and we give emphasis to the arts that it is not just about a science world it's more of an artistic world 
it's important to become creative. This subject taught us about local and international artists and their um their work of arts. Work of arts. Works of art. We also focus on the local products or the products that are new or unique to your different places. So yeah, this subject gives us an opportunity to promote what are the local products in Region 6 and in other regions as well. Next one, we also covered about people and Earth's ecosystems. Basic na naman siya na subject because it focuses on the sciences noong high school. It's like a refresher. It gives importance lang to taking care of the environment. So I think it's also a good subject. We covered about the population of the Earth and how it doubled up and even multiplied seven times in the last 100 years. Ecosystems, the biosphere, the different cycles, like for example, the oxygen cycle, the nitrogen cycle, the energy flows, lang. it's a very basic science. I know that even if you hate mo yung science, you will easily get this or understand the subject. Next one is the ones that we took in third year, or this online classes. Number one is the living in the IT era, focusing on how this generation is more open to technology. Topics on copyright, those cyber crimes and cyber laws. Also, we covered about how the internet works. Obviously, our generation is more open to media now and we understand media more than the previous generations. And lastly, we also have entrepreneurial mind. So, it's entrepreneurship. It's more of the technical vocational subject that focuses on the usual entrepreneurship business type of subject. Business plans, SWOT analysis, different types of businesses and how it runs. So those are the minor subjects that I took in college, pero yun nga, may fourth year pa ako, pero I don't have a minor subject anymore according to my curriculum guide. Pero I checked on other schools and I saw that there are still some subjects that are minor subjects but we, we will not be taking it. Like for example, Filipino is omitted in our school na yata, siguro, because it's not, I did not find it in my curriculum, but in other curriculums, I saw that they have Filipino. So they have Filipino communication and Filipino panitikan. Also, I saw that some other schools also covered about technical writing. So that's it guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from this video, and I'm wishing you good luck, and yeah, God bless in your college journey. I hope this helps you, and yeah, see you in the future. Bye!